Revelation 1880, from the 7th of April 1941. Cultural Sites Work of Destruction Catastrophe The downfall of a cultural site is imminent, and this is a sign of the lowest disposition of the people who are responsible for it. No human being is without fault, and in a way suffering and misery has become a necessity in order to induce humanity to reflect on itself, yet the instigators of this suffering will find God's punishment and have little mercy to hope for, for thousands of innocent people suffer and are deprived of the life which was meant to earn them spiritual progress and is now prematurely terminated. The day is not far off when God will stretch out his punishing hand and prove his omnipotence to humanity. He is there where there is greatest need and where he is approached for help in believing prayer. Countless lives, however, will be decided, for the adversary rages and destroys everything in order to cause immeasurable confusion amongst humanity and he will succeed in this but the injustice will become so clear that no doubt remains which power expresses itself on earth. And this is the time when world events will change. The hour of the visitation has come, the hour when God himself will speak to people with a brazen voice. So that he will be heard by the world. And now there is unparalleled chaos. Those who love each other will be torn apart. The suffering will be great and a time of greatest adversity will befall people, before whose eyes a work of destruction will take place which can only be explained by the rule of an eternal deity. It takes a strong faith to remain devoted to God, for the magnitude of the adversity makes the weak believers even more wavering in their faith for now they even doubt God's omnipotence and justice because in their blindness they cannot grasp that the Lord's ways are different from the ways of man. And this is a severe test for them, and in anticipation of the things God sends upon people. Because they strive for the same but don't consider people's spiritual life but only earthly motives prompt them to act devilishly. Humanity will first have to turn to God in search of help and appeal to him for mercy when the day has come. And thus God will change what the adversary strives for into the best for the souls faithfully devoted to him. And what has existed for thousands of years will be destroyed, the world will experience a spectacle which will remain unforgettable for people, for this day will deprive countless people of their possessions, people will no longer have inner peace, they will time and again remember that event which is imminent and which, through God's love and mercy, can be mitigated in its consequences for people who are devoted to him. For these are entrusted with an office after the time of destruction. In order to be able to exercise this ministry they must be strengthened in faith by the coming of the previously announced event, for faith is first necessary in order to be able to successfully work for the kingdom of God and to build up what the adversary has destroyed. Amen.